was with my last video that 80% of the views it got were from YouTube search. So I felt that many people were looking for a genetics tutorial, so I decided to do one of those. Starting off, one way of getting genetics is, well, if you're making a character based on genetics, you're gonna go for a gene therapist, because it makes you refine, um, makes unidentified genetic material you find 30% better. I just chose this, because why not? Gene harvester, this is the most important one. When you or another crewmate kills a monster while outside your submarine, you have a 35% chance of finding a random genetic material. And then, if you want to have two slots with gene splicers, you need to get this one. So I've disabled all AI so crawlers can't kill me. Take it to a research station. And with the research station, you'll need stabilizine to refine it. Also, another way of getting the gem material before you've got that level is by finding incubation bubbles inside alien ruins. I hadn't personally found one, but I would imagine they'd be filled with unidentified genetic material, but I've just filled it up with refined genetic material to show you what each one does. So yeah, once you've got that, you click research. And right. Let's see, we got 13% genetic material Mohawk. And I can imagine you add, when you get more, you add them together, actually. I should probably test that. Actually, we okay, we'll find them, we'll find the lower percentage ones together to get the good one. And now, I am going to show you what each of materials does. The Hunter one. Makes it if you receive physical damage, you get your melee damage gets doubled. Skitter, uh, you essentially you essentially get meth without like the buffs from meth, which makes you really fast. Except you don't get the psychosis and the mollusk. Gives you vigor when you take damage. Molox just gives straight uh, damage reduction up to a maximum of 25%. The Mud Raptor one gives you a Mud Raptor beak, which you can use your creature attack key, which I have set to F to attack people with. Crawler just increases your swimming speed. Hammerhead also doubles your melee damage, so if you're going for a melee build, you might want Hunter and Hammerhead. And Matriarch is really good. It heals your physical injuries at a rate of 45% per minute. And Spinelink, it throws spines on your back and you can shoot with your creature attack key. Husk stops um, you from being fully husked. So if you've got a ship where that kind of stuff's happening, then you can avoid that. Tiger Thresher makes you not need oxygen at all. Mantis makes you move quicker on land. And I'm going to bind some of these together to show you what you can do. You can take. I guess. I need 
Someone who has the gene harvester part, then you want someone to get genetic stability, which gives you 75% less likely chance to taint materials. Which, yeah, these got tainted. Which uh, I haven't used tainted before, but let's let's see what tainted does. Xenobiology. <laughs> Morphine don't work. So, I suppose if you wanted to go with tainted things anyway, you'd probably want to get matriarch genes. Where did I put those? Where did I? Xenobiology, biology, one way to be able to kill yourself when normal medicine doesn't work. Oh. Oh. Oh, it gets worse, I'd see. So yeah, don't use tainted. Jesus Christ. Head first reaction to oxygen. Jesus. Diving suit, take the oxygen out. Drugs from low can't kill you. I suppose I should get out of an area that has oxygen and see if that one can be treated through suffocation. <laughs> system. 